Hi, I'm Ruby Lopez for Crete Currents Today. I'm here at the Shadelands Art Center with the Diablo Ballet, an internationally recognized dance company. So, let's go find out what keeps these dancers on point. I'm here with Lauren Jonas, and you are the artistic director for the Diablo Ballet. Yes, right? I am. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. Now, I know that the Diablo Ballet has performed all over the world, but your home base is here in Walnut Creek, right? Yes, we perform nationally and internationally, but our home base is in Walnut Creek. We are here at the Shadelands Art Center. What is it like performing here? We love it. We started this series called Inside the Dancer Studio mm -hmm. in 2010, and it was develop a series where the audience could be within feet of the dancers, mm -hmm. and we create more of an accessible and intimate experience mm -hmm. and the audience gets to ask the dancers questions as part of the performance and it's followed up with the reception to speak with everybody mm -hmm. and it's been wonderful to get to know who our audience is and actually yeah. get to converse with them. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of the dancers. They're, they're wonderful. I mean mm -hmm. my whole mission from the beginning has been to create an environment where it's small, the dance, mm -hmm. we don't have a large ballet company, but the audience really gets to know who the dancers are and they come with incredible experience. So all of our dancers yeah. have achieved soloist or principal status in a major company yeah. prior to joining Diablo Ballet. Now I know you also do a lot of community outreach, right? Can you tell us about that? 1995, I started the mm -hmm. Performing Arts Education and Enrichment for Kids program, okay. which is actually PEAK. Okay. And we see two adopta classes through the entire school year, twice mm -hmm. monthly. We have one in Oakland, and we have one that we've been working with for 18 years in Martinez. And we also have a dance in the schools program and a free theater program. So it's quite extensive, and we're very yeah. proud of it. We've received two special awards from Congress, and we're one of the few dance companies that are selected to uh, receive grant funds from the California Arts Council. Wow, that's pretty amazing. What else do you see in the future for the Diablo Ballet? In November, mm -hmm. we launch our 20th season. Wow. And we're so excited, and we have a really large celebration March 6th of 2014 at the Lesher, because that's where our first performance was. And we're having a big evening with a big celebration. It will be a, bit, a film retrospective of the last 20 years, plus performance and alumni returning. The 20th anniversary isn't just a celebration mm -hmm. of what's been, but also looking forward and what's to come. We really feel truly a part of the community and what's coming forward is just continuing the good work that mm -hmm. we're doing. Absolutely. Well, Lauren, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. I look forward to watching. Thank you so much. I'm here with Robert Deckers now. You are a dancer with the Diablo Ballet, but you're also a choreographer, right? Correct. And you also recently choreographed a web ballet. Correct. What was that? Tell us about what that was. Well, um, basically they uh, had this idea that they wanted to get people involved, even that weren't necessarily local to the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of devised a plan to invite everyone to make suggestions for a new piece. Uh, we use Twitter and Facebook uh, to receive the suggestions and after about a month and a half of, of uh, submissions we closed it and I had a weekend to choose seven ideas and I made a new ballet based on these ideas. So. That's exciting. So what was that like? One of the winning suggestions was to create a piece based on the dodo bird mm -hmm. who is uh, flightless and becomes extinct. Mm -hmm. So I kind of used this idea as my center of the, mm -hmm. the new work and chose additional suggestions to kind of supplement it and everything from initiate movement from the shoulder blade, which is where I got this movement mm -hmm. for the dodo bird. Mm -hmm. Another person suggested that I make something that was deliberately ironic, mm -hmm. and that's how I arrived at the title, Flight okay. of the Dodo. Okay. So. Yeah, so what is it like dancing with the Diablo Ballet? Uh, it's really wonderful. You know, at Diablo Ballet, we do such a wide range of work. As a dancer, that's very fulfilling to have the opportunity to, to do both kinds of work, you know, okay. classical and contemporary. So. Yeah. Well, as a dancer and a choreographer, what do you see artistically in the future for the Diablo Ballet? Um, you know, I really hope that the company continues uh, its, its mission to get involved with people on a deeper level, and, and I think the Web Ballet was a great uh, great opportunity for us to connect with a totally new set of people and in today's society it's really important for people to be connected to what they they see artistically absolutely well robert thank you so much for joining us yeah thanks so much thank for having you. me i had a great time here learning all about the diablo ballet now if you would like some more information about the company and their upcoming performances you can always visit them online at diabloballet.org <laughs>